All right, Amy, I'll take it up next. The cast of a new movie called Domestics will have two cast members and the filmmakers coming up to talk about this film for a cause next. work they get tired honey and they want to come home and they want to sit on their couch and they want to watch tv and i have every right to do that every night every night and every day you go back to work and then you come here again to watch your lovely tv salma spending no time with your children this is a new film the domestics it's a new political thriller that tells the story of a working class factory workers workers who choose to fight back when their factory is scheduled to be shut down. And joining us this morning is filmmaker John Shulman and stars Pim Shulman. And is it Abreus? Abreus. 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 What, what, that's a cool name, man. <laughs> it's, it's like a singular name. Uh, <laughs> first of all, this is a movie with a message, a definite message. You're, you're a lawyer by trade and a filmmaker as well. This is the town that unions were born in. What do you want? people to walk away from the movie saying. Well, you know, we, we've been watching what's happening in the political process, in the society, and, and we're really concerned that the level of the dialogue, the conversation isn't there. Mm -hmm. And we feel that Detroit and, the, and Michigan, larger um, area, is, is really at the heart of this struggle. And mm -hmm. that we have so many communities that need to come together. And uh, we wanted to ask questions that are difficult questions, but we think need sophisticated answers and dialogue. I have to ask this because you keep saying we. Who is is we who produced this movie? Actually, my wife and I we met in in law school. We uh, we, we met at Harvard Good, Law School. It's not political overlords that did this movie. You're talking about we meeting your wife exactly. and your mom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, very cool. So, talk about the plot of the film. I watched the trailer and you saw the sentence I wrote. It's much more than that, though. Can you give us a little more? It is. It, it's really it's a political thriller. Mm -hmm. So it's got a lot of action and it's tense. Um, but it's also about a working class family and factory workers who get caught up in this bigger political context. Mm -hmm. So it's asking questions like, um, is the government protecting all of us mm -hmm. or is it targeting some of us? Yeah. You know, what does it mean to be an American? Mm -hmm. um, how do immigrants and, um, and other community members right. interact, come together. So yeah. it's really asking these questions and it's doing it in a way where there's a lot of pressure on people. It should because uh, we're a nation of immigrants, so to separate immigrants out is, is interesting at any point in time in our country's history. Pim, let's talk about you for a second. Okay. Now your dad's a human rights lawyer, your yes. mom's a human rights lawyer, yes. uh, and a filmmaker. Uh, do you want to be a human rights lawyer or an actress? Uh, well, I love human rights, I have to tell you, but my heart is in acting. Nice. Yeah. So nice. what does it mean for you to not only be in a film, but be in your dad's film? Oh, it was, <laughs> it was an honor because I've been looking forward to this my whole life. Good. And so, I mean, it was great to have them because they really understood, you know, mm -hmm. what I've been through in my life, so how to use that to get what they need for the movie, so. Uh, talk about your character real quick. Who do you play in the movie? I play Selma. So mm -hmm. she is a teenager who is frustrated because around her she sees the everything falling apart mm -hmm. and she wants to talk about it, but no one will listen. Her father, her mother, her teachers, the principal, even her brother, and so it... It just makes her so angry. Does uh, Abreu's character listen? <laughs> Who do you uh, play in the film? <laughs> uh, basically, um, I, pl I have a role in the film as far as when it comes to the music. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. So you're, you're yeah. the musical director of the film, which always brings a film together. Yeah, so talk about the cho choosing music for a movie with a message like this. Well, not so much as the musical director in the film. I just have music in the film, and basically, I, I, I stand for basically everything positive. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm about speaking for the underdog, and just when I heard about the, uh, the movie and just also the concept and, and, and what the substance was of the movie, I just felt the need to be a part of it. Where are you guys from? So we're actually from Minneapolis, mm -hmm. but we're living in Guadalajara, Mexico now. Get out. Yeah. yeah. As well? No, I live in Detroit. I'm a Detroit man. Ah, so you're wearing a hat. You're <laughs> <in> Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. Right. And, and as you know, I got the shirt on that says, you don't know, because basically, it went, with this movie, it's, it's a lot of things that people don't know, and it's about just bringing that to the forefront. Yeah, well, thank you for educating me, because you guys walked in. I had never met you before, and I, I appreciate the time. I appreciate the time. Thank you have you. to hear more about your music, man. Thank you. Thank it must be cool to have it in a movie. Oh, oh. 
It's, it's, it's a dream come true. You know what I'm saying? God. I have to say, you said from Minneapolis, Prince passed. Yeah. It must be uh, it's, hard. It's really hard. Actually, he went to one of my rival high schools. So yeah. I used to see him around town. Uh, used to see him? Yeah, yeah. And, you know what's uh, interesting is Prince just looked like a, a, a young black fella with an afro <laughs> when he was a kid. Did you see him that way? Nobody knew what was, was going to come. No, I have a picture was... that I tweeted out of him. He looked like <laughs> one of the Jackson 5 back when he was younger. Am I right? Yeah, no, I, it's true. And, and and actually, a, a dear friend of ours uh, was his brother. Yeah. And, um, and they, they grew up together. And it's, it's just... Uh, Shocking, right? It is. It's so sad. Yeah. It's so sad. Well, thanks for sharing that with us. And, and also, thanks for sharing your movie. I said this is the town where unions were born. So well, we, we have a screening tomorrow at noon. You guys, it's at the Car Center. All the information is on your screen right there. The Car Center, 311 East Grand River. Uh, that's in Detroit, of course. And for more information, you can go to their website right under the picture. It's domesticsthemovie.com. All the information you need is there. What do people need to know? How much are tickets if they want to go to Free. Run? It's free. It's a free private whoa, screen. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. You said free? That's right. Yep. Like F-R-E-E. -E. You got it. That's like it. No money from your No, pocket. we want the community coming in. We want people to talk about this story. And, and, and really, it's a call to action. We want people to, to act upon it. Uh, a movie to get the people motivated yep. and impassioned. Well, congratulations on getting your film done. For you being in the movie, Thank even though Dad's watching, and hey, <laughs> the D, that's how we do. All right, thanks Thank all you so of you for much. coming in. We appreciate the time. Thank you.